Hey guys, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014 with me, Brad in 73. All right, um, let's jump back in. I think we are on the 21st order. I think that said order 21 there. Um, so we've done the first 20 uh, orders and uh, gonna do five more today. So thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you have fun watching me derp my way to <laughs> car destruction. Oh, before I forget, I want to uh, I want to send a shout out and a thank you to Earnbrew Addict. Um, he actually told me apparently you can come over to these books. Maybe I thought it. Okay, maybe not. Uh, he said he found them by just looking around. Um, I'm following your instructions, Ernbrew. I'm not seeing it. Oh my god, somebody left my iPad there. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually a screenshot of the really old car mechanic simulator. Gosh, that's like 20 years old. Um, books on the shelf. This is where you told me to look. Menu, I can't do anything on the menu. I don't know, maybe I have to get up to a certain point uh, to uh, to get those. Nothing there, nothing there. Can't turn the computer off. I don't know. Well, I will keep looking uh, over there, but um, Ernbrew, you uh, just got yourself a shout out. So, <laughs> all right. Um, <clears throat> what the heck is wrong with this car? Repair leaking pump. What kind of pump? My car drives me crazy. I have already replaced all spark plugs, and now that. Guess what? Water pump started to leak, and this liquid could have damaged one of the belts. Check it and repair, please. Uh, check timing belt and leaky pump. I'm assuming they mean the, the water pump. Um, let's just go ahead and turn our x-ray vision on. And, of course, we won't be able to see that because it's part of the engine. Uh, too... Ah, too far. Too far in. Okay, so examine conditions. Yep, that one's shot. Let's look at the... Eh, timing belt's all right. Belt tensioner's all right. Serpentine belt's all right. And... The Eiler pulley is all right. So you're doing all right. So we'll get, let's go ahead and uh, start pulling all this stuff off. Pull that off. Serpentine belt comes off. And then the water pump. <clears throat> all right. Um, let's see how much it's going to cost us to repair the water pump. Hundred forty six dollars. They're paying us eight hundred bucks. Let's see. Water pump, water pump, water pump. Pump of waterness. Pump of liquid. Liquid de pumper. <laughs> water pump. Oh, three hundred bucks. So I think we're going to be saving money. I know that there, there's only like 2% of it left, but, you know, um, I think your belt's okay, buddy. Uh, it's in the green, so I'm going to leave it there for now. Okay. Timing belt. Oh, it's the timing belt. Okay. Serpentine belt. And I think we're good. We're done here. Timing belt's okay, buddy. All right. Repaired. Yes. We want to proceed to the next order. <clears throat> oh, 
Ooh! Wait, what happened? I just changed to another garage. What's up with that? Okay, I heard I can have my car tested on your diagnostic path. I want to be sure everything is okay before I go on my summer trip. Test car on diagnostic path? What, what the monkey is that? Is that like the test drive? <laughs> uh. Ooh, it's a nice car too. Kind of looks like a cattle or like one of those Chrysler 300Ms, which I think are actually kind of ugly, but whatever. Um, is this what they mean? OBD diagnostic? Diagnostic path? That's, that's more like a... I would think that's like the, t the test drive course. Okay. Um, we'll see if this is it. And it's not. Um, can I hit on my diagnostic path? Uh, um, what's this? Path test. Check car on the diagnostic path. Whatever the monkey that is. Oh, it's this. Okay. Move front wheels onto the brake tester. Uh, how the heck do I do that? Okay. Okay, I'm holding, press and hold the brakes. Okay. Move back wheels on the brake tester. Press and hold the brake. Move the front. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, that's like. Okay, move the front wheels onto the suspension tester. <laughs> oh yeah 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 I'm gonna have to bring my girlfriend in here. <laughs> Move the back wheels on the okay. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh Um I guess everything looks okay. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, okay, we're we're all done. So we we got your car done for you. You are welcome. That'll be three hundred U.S. dollars. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> do they actually do that to cars in Europe? Because I've never seen that done over here. Uh, check the engine and find a solution. My car's engine won't start. Fix it quickly. I need it for tomorrow morning. Alrighty then. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if anything jumps out at me. And of course, I can't see anything. Um, examine conditions. Battery's fine. Uh, are you serious? I can't take that off. Try the starter, maybe. <clears throat> hate how you have to actually take the starter off in order to. I guess you'd have to, yeah. Um, starter's ninety-five percent, so I think we can put that back on. Let's check the spark plug. Oh, we gotta take this off first. And take the spark plug wires off, which those are at 95%. <clears throat> and then we have to take this little, uh, the ignition module off. 
Okay, it's at 95%. That's looking good. Um, let's go back to examine conditions. Check the spark plugs. Oh, one spark plug's dead. Oop. Spark plugs are kind of difficult to target. That spark plug looks good. That spark plug looks good. And that spark plug is shot. So, whoops. Let's go ahead and sit, remove, we'll extract these two spark plugs. <clears throat> and where's our computer in this place? Um, where's the internet? I need to order some spark plugs. Oh, is this it? Oh, here we go. Ooh, it's all like technologically advanced. Well, that, that kind of stinks. It didn't even give me like a, congratulations, you're going to a new garage. Like, you've been promoted because you're such a great mechanic. No, I didn't get any of that. It was like, we're moving you to a new garage. Here you go. I mean, a pleasant surprise, but come on. Seriously, guys. Come on, where is it? There we go. Okay, put the spark plug wires on there. Put the top on there. Um, I am... What was he paying us? 300 bucks for that? Alright, sure. Repaired. All right. Invoice 24. We got two more to go. Until this episode is over. I kind of wish I would do more, but I kind of want to keep these episodes short because they're short and fun. All right. Place all worn out parts. No problem. <laughs> um, all right. X-ray vision. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see here well let's Ooh, this engine's different Ooh, cool uh oh i see a flashing starter oh this is good this is going to be like a whole new level of oh gosh i see exhaust pipes um let's fix the pro the starter first whoops so we're getting 3,000 bucks for this. Oh, wait a second. No, starter's all right. That, that's not all right. Sell us other junk. And I don't want to sell a starter. Um, what else do I need to take off the transmission? Oh, oh, the drive shaft. Uh, oh, that's what was flashing red. I gotcha. Holy monkeys. Um, uh, where's the lift? Is this it? That almost looks like a Mustang or something. No, I don't want the exhaust. I want to take this. I want to take the drive shaft out. <clears throat> oh, I got to take all the wheels and everything off, I bet. <clears throat> well, you know what? I might not even have to go to all that trouble. Um, let's start off by just ex examining some things. Battery's all right. This thing's probably... Let's go ahead and just start... <clears throat> ah! Let's take the air... What? You have to take this off to take the air thing off? All right, whatever. What's the oil like? Well, I need a little bit of oil, but... Uh...
I just want to check your filter. Eh. You know what I should probably do? I should probably just do a test drive. Because that might actually highlight some more parts that... Because I have my x-ray vision on, I think. Don't I? Yeah. So I have that on, so it should actually show me the parts conditions. But, because I haven't done a test drive, I'm thinking that I don't know what those parts conditions are. So, we're going to try... Oh. And I need to put the starter back on. <laughs> I mean, so far all the parts I've... I've tried look good. All right. So let's test the car on the diagnostic path first. <clears throat> Press and hold brakes. Brakes look, front brakes look all right. Rear brakes look all right. Hey, baby, big guy, bye, bye, babies. Oh man, left suspension looks not so good. That's the left front suspension. I bet that's, I bet that's, I bet that's where he like hit that person last week. <laughs> that's awful. All right, come on, car mechanic simulator. Okay. Of course, I still haven't done my test drive, have I? Oh, pff, what am I doing? Ugh. The front suspension, anyway. Okay, see how the... See how the uh, little bushings are appearing as green now? Oh, there we go. See, now we can really see the problem. Now, can I actually take this for a test drive? Yes. Let's take it out for a test drive. That way, because I've been talking about it for five minutes, I'm just going to get it out of the way. Ooh. Brakes are pretty nice. Ooh. Daddy like this car. And steering seems a little bit wonky. There we go. There. Got it. Got it done. <clears throat> now, hopefully, if we go into show the parts, it will show us everything. See now, see how like everything's all green and red. Man, it looks like he hit a dead body or something. Uh, <laughs> condition uh, wheel needs to be replaced. I wonder if it's the tire or if it's the rim. 
Brakes look all right. This, however, does not look all right. Man, he's got all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> nope, gotta take this off. Now the game's starting to get more challenging, I think. Um, what do I take off first? This, yes. There we go. <clears throat> Last but not least, I think I gotta get into the car to get that out. Alright. Take this out. Man, you must have hit a huge bump or something. Alright. <clears throat> so we will come in and we were. Man, we got a bunch of bad parts here. So we need a Vulcan Spectre wheel, we need an outer tie rod, an inner tie rod, a shock absorber ABSC front left. Oh, oh, shock absorber C, front left, rubber bushing, and a suspension arm, front left. All right. Um, I'm gonna, not going to worry about the tie rods yet. Oh, we need a rubber bushing. We need a ABS, or... Shock Observer C front left, which is that. We need a suspension arm front left, which is that. What are the two other things we needed? We got that, we got that. The shock, okay, we need a inner tie rod and an outer tie rod. Um, and I don't, I, those are up towards the top. Not that high up though. Drive shaft. Okay, inner tie rod, yes. Outer tie rod, yes. And now we just need that that tire, which is a Vulcan, fam, a Vulcan Spectre. Holy crap. That's one heck of an expensive tire. You know what? I wonder if that tire is fixable. Where's our little anvil? I need an anvil! Oh, this was fixable. Oh, man. Well, it wasn't too by too much. But we can fix that anyway. Because eh, we'll probably need one in the future. So, okay, so that's the only part that... Um, was repairable. Okay. So we will reinstall this guy. We got two <laughs> two suspension arms now. Should have checked that ahead of time, but oh well, he's got a new one now. Or is it the used one that I fixed? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I think that's all we can see from down here. All right. Now we are going to put this guy back in. See, this is when the game gets fun. Because once you kind of get you know, the hang of where all the parts are and everything, <clears throat> or at least you know where to look, you can start figuring things out. Um, you know, somebody uh, I was talking to, they're like, oh, this game sucks, it's nothing but a glorified puzzle game. Well, yeah, I mean, you're right, to a point. Uh, it is a puzzle game. Uh, fixing something is a puzzle. Uh, that's part of you know, diagnosing a problem and and trying to come up with a solution. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a you know a very simplistic way of saying yeah, it's a puzzle. But yeah, sure, it's a puzzle. 
So anyway, all right, I think we've got everything fixed. <gasps> Replace all worn out parts, yes. And he doesn't want any of his parts back, good, because he's not getting anything back. I'm not sure if we made or lost money on that. Uh, that was an expensive repair. Man, the tire itself was expensive, my gosh. Okay, replaced. Okay, this is looks like our last order. Replace all brake pads. It's me again. I've got more cash. I need new brake pads because I've almost crashed about four times. Okay, um, all right, so show inventory. I'm just gonna sell all these old parts. And we'll keep that, all right. Oh my gosh, so we need a lot of brake pads. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. Before we start doing anything. <laughs> to the test track! <laughs> they don't seem that bad. Actually, not that. I don't know. They don't seem bad to me, but the steering seems more wonky to me than the brake pads do. Everything's. Wait, was this the was this the kid that came in and he was like, "I've only got three hundred bucks and we only made like eight dollars off of him or something." I think this was the the kid with the or the guy or girl maybe with the uh, spark plugs and uh, starter wires. Okay, there we go. We don't need to. Oh, come on. There we go. What's up with this music? It sounds like freaking Alvin and the Chipmunks. <clears throat> you know, I guess I could have put this on the diagnostic path too, but um, I'm not going to worry too much about it. See, these brake pads aren't terribly bad. Oh! But we'll replace them all. Yeah, these brakes are definitely shot here, or at least in bad shape. At least they got some decent ro <laughs> rotors in the back, but. You know, rear brakes usually do go out before front brakes. Or, I mean, front brakes usually go out before rear brakes. And those pads aren't really so bad. But, you're getting new ones, I guess. All right, so we got everything off. Um, we got, do we have any totally shot caliper? See, the caliper is red, and so I'm like thinking, oh no, it's bad. Um, <clears throat> well, two of the brake pads don't look terribly bad, but I'm just gonna buy, how many brake pads do we need? Two, four, six, eight, okay.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Oops, I need to put new brake pads on. There we go, next one. Okay, now we can get the calipers. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter which ones we put back. <clears throat> Nor does it really matter which tire we put on. I'm just going to assume that the game knows. Maybe this maybe this guy will come back later and he'll be like he'll be like, "Yo, I won the lottery." You know, <laughs> fix everything on my car. Okay. Okay, two more wheels. Nice new bird tires. Whoops. I say whoops a lot. I'm like, woo! Okay, that looks all right. <clears throat> now he just said to replace the brake pads. He didn't say anything about the rotors. Okay. Your brake pads are replaced. Replace all brake pads. Repair invoice 25. And you know what that means. That is the last job for this episode. Um, let's see if we have any spare parts. We, yeah, we need to sell all these. Four bucks. 20 bucks. We got a little bit of extra money out of these guys and we got a suspension arm um, now that we've got some time we can you know check out the uh, the repair room okay there's the uh, test track I guess that's the shock absorber part and that's the brake testing part I guess the diagnostic path So it's a pretty cool garage, I guess. We got some paper towels. There's a liquid. I don't know what the heck. Oh, that's probably just a light. Um, I go through this door. Nope. I don't have any of my diagnostic books here. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for now, guys. Thanks again for watching. Um, again, don't forget to. Uh, give me a thumbs up on YouTube, like the video, uh, you know, share it, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, I do appreciate everybody who comes by and, and leaves feedback and you know gives me a like. Um, thank you very much to all my fans. Uh, I've just recently passed 2,500 viewers, so you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you back in the next episode. I'm Brad M73. Bye for now.